Hello everyone, this is Upamanyu. Welcome to screencast number 12. In this screencast, we're again diving into electronics and we'll again be working with Arduino. Now, basic aim of this tutorial will be to demonstrate serial communication between Arduino and the PC. Now, Arduino has a very strong base of serial communication and that's what we're going to demonstrate today by building a simple light meter. We'll be using an LDR that's a light dependent resistor which is also called sometimes as photoresistor and a 10k resistor as reference to the photoresistor to actually print the values of light that we are getting. Now LDR is a very special kind of resistor. It is not fixed. That means it changes its value. But when does it change its value? Now when the intensity of light is high and when the intensity of light is low the LDR changes its value. Now we can say that the intensity of light is inversely proportional to the resistance of the LDR. So that means when the intensity of the light is high the resistance will become low and when the intensity of the light is low the resistance will become high. So that's the basic funda of working of LDR. Now let's go to the circuit part. Now let's see. Now I'll connect the Arduino that I have with me. Okay. So you can see I have already connected the Arduino and the power LED and the L LED blinks up. That's the basic thing that you'll see whenever you connect an Arduino. The last time in tutorial number 10, I guess, we created something that was a blinking LED and we didn't use some external components but in this time we're going to use some external components that's one LDR and one 10k resist as a reference so let's see how to connect them now as you may know that LDR is analog object it's not a digital object it cannot be operated by voltage levels if you remember for last time, we used a function called digital write. So, digital write means everything will be transferred digitally. The, the code, the voltage levels will be transferred digitally. So, digital write 1 means on and digital write 0 means off. So, that's how we made the LED blink. But that's not going to work here. So, as you can see in the Arduino, there are some digital pins and there are some analog pins along with it there are also some power pins so these are the analog pins from a0 to a5 and these are the power pins there are v in ground and 5 volts 3.5 volts everything we need so what i have done is the basic connection diagram what i've done is i have connected the a0 that the analog pin 0 to the LDR, one terminal of the LDR, and the another terminal of the LDR goes to the 5 volt supply. And the reference resistor, that is a 10K resistor, I have connected again to the A0, that is the A0 terminal, that is the analog pin 0 of the six analog pins, and I have connected the other terminal of the resistor, 10k resistor, to the ground. So that's the basic connection. It's a very easy connection anybody can make. Now, let's go ahead and discuss about how this will work. Before that, let's start to program our Arduino. Okay. So first, we'll initiate a new variable. So we'll call it LDR pin. So we'll assign it the value A0 because we have connected our LED to the analog uh, LDR to the analog pin 0. And that's where we are going to read the values from. Now, as I had explained in the last tutorial 
there are some basic structure of an Arduino program. So the first part is the setup. So I'll say void setup. And I'll say now this is where we begin the serial communication part. So we have to initialize the serial communication first. So I'll say serial dot begin nine six double zero. So the nine six double zero board will be used as the serial communication program interface as the serial communication interface. Okay, that's all for the setup part. Now, the next part we get with an Arduino program is a loop part. So what will we write in the loop part? Let's say, we initialize another variable, which is a local variable. That LDR pin variable was a global variable and this is a local variable. So we'll say, LDR reading and uh, we'll equate it to analog read this is another function which will take the values from the Arduino whatever values it is getting it will take the values from the Arduino and it will convert it into digital format and then it will display it or uh, uh, read it actually read it. It will not display it. It will read it. But we have to work some more for the display part. So what we'll do to display this reading. So let's see. First we'll read from the analog, from the pin that we had connected our LDR to. So LDR pin. It will read from the A not pin. So that's it. Now we have to print so there is another function in the serial library serial dot now println is a function which many of you are acquainted with so here also we are using the println function and what will we print as you've guessed we'll print the ldr reading and we don't want to print the readings one by one one by one so that will really become difficult to decipher if it prints in a very fast rate so if we close our program here it will print you know in intervals of one milliseconds and we will not be able to get the value what the Arduino is sending so we'll put a delay this is another function which will add a delay between two prints. So we'll put delay of 300 milliseconds. Again, this is a function which is which was used in C, C++, Java, everywhere it's used. So basically this is the program. Now, before uploading, let's talk about how the circuit will work basically this is a voltage divider circuit a basic voltage divider circuit which divides the 5 volts between the LDR and the resistor now if you have studied high school physics you'll know what a voltage divider circuit is so it divides the voltage between 5 volts because we have connected the resistor to the 5 volts so it divides the 5 volts between the LDR and the resistor then we measure how much voltage is on the LDR using the analog read on your Arduino. And we have our reading. The amount of that 5 volt that each part gets is proportional to its resistance. With the Arduino analog read, at 5 volts it's max. It would read 1023 and 0 volts it reads 0. So if the LDR and the resistor have the same resistance, the 5 volts is split evenly, that is 2.5 volts to each part, and the analog read will read 512 in that case, because 1023 has been divided in two parts, exactly two parts, 
and the 1023 doesn't start from 1 it starts from 0 that's why 512 and 512 but if the LDR is hit with a ton of light and maybe it is reading only 1k of resistance the 10k resistor is going to soak up 10 times as much current as soaked up by the LDR so the LDR would only get 0.45 volts and the analog will read 92 and if it is in dark room the LDR may be <coughs> 40k resistance so the LDR will soak up four times as much of that 5 volts as the resistor of 10k so the LDR would get 4 volts so analog will read 818 now this is the basic working of the circuit and that's why we have hooked up the circuit the way we have done it so this was a circuit you can see we have again I'm telling you from the analog pin 0 the 10 k resistor come to the ground and from the anal analog pin 0 again the LDR comes to the 5 volts so that's it so now so now that we have discussed how the circuit works so let's first program our Arduino <coughs> Okay, so our Arduino has been programmed. Now, once our Arduino has been programmed, you can see the another LED is blinking on our board. So that's the blink we are getting from the delay interval. So it's blinking in intervals of 300 milliseconds. And one blink corresponds to one analog read one analog read and one blink so you must be wondering how we can see the values of the light so that's very basic we can go to the serial monitor option that is provided by the Arduino development environment and once we open up we will see the values that are printed with the analog read here okay you can see exactly the values that are printed now there's a moderate lighting in my room so it's printing nearly a values in between 300 and 200 now if I place my hand over the LDR suppose you can see the values are receding you can see very very well the values are receding so again I remove my hand the values again are increasing so that was all for this tutorial hope you have enjoyed it if you do enjoy it please comment please post your feedback and please like my videos please subscribe to my channel Please give me your valuable feedback so I can improve myself with your feedback. So you were watching screencast number 12. I am Upamanyu. Thank you.